Hello, welcome to what is probably going to be a full series, but we'll see how I feel. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to try. I want to. I want to play this game all the way through. I've started it two or three times and not gotten very far. Just keep getting distracted. So you know, one of those things where maybe if I play it with uh, a, a an audience of, of a few people, um, they'll bug me until I finish it. You never know. So yes, this is Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark. It is a tactical role-playing game in the style of Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, the, uh, the the key parts that I I like the most are the uh, you get to recruit random random you get to recruit gener generic characters and name them and stuff, which I always like because it lets me insert people into it. But also you get to have, you know, your main characters and stuff, so, so you still have a st uh, strong story, but also I can kind of be there, but kind of in the periphery, sort of the supporting cast member. I like being the supporting cast member. Uh, that's my favorite way to be. <laughs> so, Bell Seal, Arbiter's Mark. Um, I got it a while ago. It came out in 2018, I think. Um, I think I just... I was looking for, like... Final Fantasy Tactics like games, and this came up as, as very well rated, very well reviewed. Um, no, 2016. It's right down there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yes, so I, uh, I did a, a quick test on the volume. I think the volume levels, the music should be good versus my voice at this level, but um, uh, the test sounded good on my computer. Let me know if it doesn't sound good on your computer and I'll make some changes uh, to whoever is watching this in real time as I make these videos. <laughs> Obviously, if I've already finished the series or for whatever reason decided not to finish the game, I'd leave that open. Um, I'm not making any changes at that point. But <laughs> So, alright, well, enough stalling. Let's go. So we can go. Uh, we can change all of these in-game. So, casual, focus on the story, um, beginner, if you're new to tactical RPGs, veteran, um, players with a solid amount of experience, uh, can be fairly difficult, hard, um, hard to out-level things, uh, I'm not so sure about that, very hard, um, uh, might even get them, okay, and individual options, interesting. I'm going to go with, see, I, I want to say I'm, I'm, on the one hand, I want to say I'm, I'm, I've, I've played a lot of tactical RPGs, but on the other hand, I've really mostly played Final Fantasy Tactics, so, uh, I wonder what custom looks like, what does custom look like? Oh, whoops. In the dark days oops. of centuries past. I hit the wrong button and started Another the game. Another worldly beast, known as the Ma, appeared in Diora, and leaving ruin in its wake. There's voice acting here. It's pretty cool. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. But powerful as the Immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the Immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? I didn't remember there being voice acting, but you know, I usually play my games on silent if I'm not recording, so I don't have a good sense of that sort of thing. 
Okay, so this is not voiced. How, how, hmm. Mm. So I should say, I was going to go over this when I was doing the, the settings, but um, I've played the first couple of battles, the first little bit of the story. Um, I've played that before. It's been a while. Um, so I know the, the basic setup, uh, and then beyond that I have no idea. Um, I also have the, there's a DLC for this game, which I do have, um, Monsters and Missions, I think it's called. Adds, um, a missions thing where you can send your generic units out to, to do special things, kind of like the errands in Final Fantasy Tactics. And you can recruit monsters, also like Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, beyond that, I don't know what all that entails. Um, I did a tiny bit of looking into how, like, experience and leveling and stuff works, um, but uh, as far as the story, I'm going into this almost entirely uh, blind. I don't know what's going to cut what's coming. I mean, I have some guesses based on what I've seen, but it's still early days. All right, so this is Ki Kyrie or Kiri? Hmm, Kyrie, Kiri. Let's go with Kyrie. Um, good work, Anadine. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an Arbiter. Of course you're right, Captain. Are you sure Reiner knew the, t that we knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yeah, Reiner. Yes, he knows. But knowing Reiner, he's probably... Did you hear that? I didn't... Help, please, anyone. It sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Ah! Oops. What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. Gilly. Gilly? 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 Defeat Alphonse. You can decide which allies you want to join the battle. Um, so there's a thing up on the... Let's see, I have a controller. Okay, so it's only doing the controller. So I can't mouse over and point at things when the controller is attached. You can decide which allies you want to join the battle. Um, I can have two out of three units. Um, okay. Bottom right lets me look at... Okay. Uh, so it's R1, L1, R2, L2 shows foes. Triangles, troops, menu. Okay. And square is start. That's good. Help button with the waffle. Okay, so I can have Virgil, a wizard, or Lana, a mender. And I suspect I should go with the mender. That that sounds right. Anything what's in the troop menu? Okay. Cool. I don't think there's anything for me to do here yet. Oh, spoilers, that's Reiner, who they talked about. He'll be joining us shortly. Alright, here we go. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to lay down your weapons and surrender. Now. You are an Arbiter? This is even more tiresome than I thought. Hi, Erling. Exterminate these pests for me and you will receive a tidy bonus. At once, Lord Alphonse. As you wish. Anadine, it looks as if you were about to face your first real battle. Yes, I see. I'm ready, Captain. I'm sure you are. But why don't we quickly review the basics, just to be safe. Combat is turn-based. 
uh, move and or take an action. The turn order is at the top of the screen. That's always handy. move icon down in the down there it's a little green boot um, it's four for Kyrie and reach things shown at the little the blue jumping icon that's what that looks like a, a silhouette jumping uh, that's the, how high they can jump physical damage for the attack now then let's deal with the scum all right. Well, if I know me anything about tactical RPGs, it is always attack from the side if you can. 99% chance to hit. Minus 21 hit points. 88 hit points total. Attack from the sides deal more damage. Attacks from the de back deal even more damage. Awesome. Uh, select facing. Try not to show your back. Yep. That's standard. Ow. Alright, let's see. So I have heal, sex, uh, 10 MP. Let's go here, and we're going to not attack. Heal. Plus 30. Fantastic. So I saw that um, you get um, extra experience for KOing an enemy, um, and since your healers aren't gen don't generally do that sort of thing, they get extra experience at base. So for healing, she gets 12 experience, whereas the uh, attacker gets uh, 10 for attacking. So that's pretty nice, actually. Um, it'll help to keep the. Uh, Help to keep the uh, healers from falling behind if I keep them dedicated. All right, I should focus down one person, but let's oof. go for the side. Oh, I bet I bet he's higher higher level. Yeah, level two. Yeah, so they get less experience. There's a level difference. Level two, level two, level one. Yeah. Okay. Actually, what's Warcraft? Field aid restores hit points, removes a bunch of stuff, or forceful strike pushes the target away. This could have interesting results. Good luck, Anadine. I hope this doesn't. Oh, never mind. It missed. <laughs> uh. Okay, I had a feeling. It uh, knocks him into Kyrie, and Kyrie takes damage as well. So, yeah, that wasn't great. But oh no, not my healer. Okay, so this is something else I was looking at. Um, there's a number next to these two items. There's a number next to them. Um, that's not how many I have, that's how many times I can use this item per battle. So there's no stock of items, which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Uh, but it does mean, hey, I can throw a rock at this guy. Once per battle, extends my reach a little bit. 
And I, it, I, if it's a uh, once per battle instead of a once per um, uh, instead of it's a limited stock, I have. I mean, like it was ever limited for me in tactics in Final Fantasy Tactics. It was. Uh, I always kept a stock of 99 potions or whatever. But um, you don't have to keep buying them. It's, uh, it's automatically replenished, and uh, so you don't have the, I don't want to use this because um, it's one of a kind sort of thing. Ah! Okay, so it's healing actions that get you the uh, little experience bonus. That's, pretty, that's good to know. Get out of there. I... Enough. I yield. A wise choice, if a bit late in the coming. Victory! Alright, 900 gold. Influence points, that's a thing. Short sword, okay. Um, so, ability points. Everybody got... Uh, 165 total victory point uh, ability points and you use that to level up like Final Fantasy Tactics there's a job system essentially um, so you get points to level up that your job um, and then vicarious learning I was reading about that too all of my people who didn't participate in this case the uh, what's it, the, the wizard guy I think possibly Reiner too um, get a portion of uh, the experience that we earned or of the ability points that we earned in the fight. So they don't... There's a small penalty for not taking somebody into combat, but it's not a, it's not a, like... They're not going to totally fall, totally fall off the map if I, if I uh, leave them behind. And Vicarious Learning, I think, is... What is that? That's... Oh, that's right. Um, that is... There was a, some, a similar thing in Tactics, in Final Fantasy Tactics... I keep just saying Tactics. I should specify... Final Fantasy Tactics, where um, everybody got a small percentage of the ability points for uh, in that game, the, j the job points for the uh, a class that fought. So my knight got some job points. Everybody got a percentage of that. This is that's this this is the same thing. Vicarious learning. Everybody gets a little bit of the jobs that were ability points for the jobs that were participating. So again, pretty cool. I like that. Here comes Reiner. Ladies, there you are. What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to a party. Reiner, at last. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these thugs. No matter. This gentleman kept us company. And now we will show our gratitude by providing him with a nice, comfy cell. You cannot be serious. Do you not know who I am? I am the Lord, Lord Alphonse, to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate the witnesses to your foul crime, and now resisting lawful arrest. There are limits to the privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. <laughs> an arbiter and a simpleton, I see. Very well, let us proceed with the farce if we must. Bring me to the Arbiter's Chapter House for my trial. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? The Knight's Chill does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the Chapter House, wench. Reiner, I've decided to make a small detour, detour to Illust. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main Chapter House. Clever. I wonder how much sway the little lordling has in Illister. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. Now, to ensure you are comfortable for the trip. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. Simmer down, or I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers washing the gags in between prisoners, mind you. Very well. Yay. 
Let's head for Illister now. I'm sure our eminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. Okay, so similar... Oh, they, they're still talking to me. The journey may be treacherous. We must. We should stop at the local guild here in Gelly. Gelly? 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 Let's go with Gelly. And hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. So, let's see. I can... Enter area shop. What's in the shop? Welcome to my store. Only the finest. Peruse at your leisure. I will. So we have a mall. Oh, we have a, a list of... Um... Okay, buckler. We have a list of jobs down there. Mercenary, mender, scoundrel, wizard. Um, that's what we have available. So let's see. We can have mall... Short sword, merce, short sword, dagger, axe, mace, rod, wood staff, flintlock, crossbow, linen robe, circlet for cap. Oh, um, try and buy. Yes. Okay. Short sword, less attack, more defense. The mall is more attack and hit points and defense, but less resistance and evasion. Interesting. Huh. Let's keep you with the axe. I don't know. Buckler's the only option. Fur cap's your only option. Travel garb. Nothing for these. Let's see, you've got a hidden knife and a dagger is worse. Definitely worse. Fur cap, traveler garb. Fine. You've got the mall. I kind of like that. It's kind of fun. You don't have a buckler. It lowers your... Oh. Is this... Yeah. Okay. So down under current. So just below her picture, you see current. It says mall. Right below the mall, it says two dash um, hand sign. So if I put a buckler on, it's going to lower her um, attack because it's going to unequip the mall. That's what's going on there. Yeah, we'll keep you with your armor. That's good. Mr. Wizard Guy. Some rod. Can you take? You cannot take. Oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can... Um... I, it actually doesn't matter where the slots are just generic slots. Um, I bet you can only have like one hat um, thing. But I could put the hat here as well. So let's see. Oh, how much? I have. Ooh, I have 3,900 gold. Perfect. Yes, let's take a circlet. Circlet? For, ooh, for Cap is ice resistance, I think. Defense and but less resistance. But that oh that resist that um ice resistance is yeah we're gonna do that. You already have a circlet and a wood staff. Confirm yes. Short sword dagger. Have two rods, two wooden staves, two short swords. We have two more linen robes and two more traveler garbs than um, are being used. Our headgear is as stated. We only have the one buckler. Okay. Cool. So that's the shop and the guild. Yes, I'm in need of new recruits. Oh, I can change people's appearances. Okay, I can change the visual appearance of units in this section. Using left and right arrows on any category, you can quickly change its value or select the row uh, to view a list of possible options. You can import your own portrait into the game, provided in the game's main folder about the process. Cool. I'm probably not going to bother. Uh, 
Okay, so we can hire any people in any of the jobs, classes, they're called classes in this game, any of the classes that we have open to us. Um, I'm probably, let's see, so we have Mercenary, which I think covers um, Kyrie and Anadine, and Reiner's the Scoundrel, and then we've got Lana, our Mender, and other guy, our Wizard. Um, so I'm just going to recruit one extra character right now. Um, and then if you're watching and you want to leave a comment or or something and let me know if you want me to recruit a character for you as well, um, I'll do so. Just let me know, um, you know, what, what class to start you on. And I can recruit them um, for 500 gold per level. Um, I can just bring them right in at the, at the at a level uh, as high as I think Kyrie's level is what determines that. So I'm going to go with a female scoundrel. Yeah, because I can't really see her face. Uh, sure. Okay, so now I can kind of see the face. Smiling, actually. Um, face, no, that's... Okay, there it is. <laughs> the accessory was on eye patch, I guess. Okay, so smiling, winking, narrow eyes, not smiling. Okay, so one, two. Okay, so it's mostly... I'm going to go with that face. Um, I'm recreating. Back when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV, I, ma I made multiple characters, and one of them, um, Valorous is the one that I've stuck with. But I made another character named Valdora, who I've always kind of wanted to do more with. And uh, so I'm vaguely recreating, obviously not the part where, where she's an Aura dragon person, but um, I'm going to recreate her here a bit. She was a rogue. Hmm. I don't know what hairstyle she, she should have. I guess also, um, if you want your character in this, let me know if there's a hairstyle you want. If there's any specifics here, um, you know, let me know class, name, that kind of thing. Um, oh, hairstyle. Um, yes. I guess if you um, take the hairstyle, um, having this weird hair would work. Top hat? No. Bowler hat, I guess. We'll go with that for now, actually. So I think if I say use class outfit, if I change their class later, they might um, keep the the. They might just they might change outfits with it, or I can customize how they look, and that'll just be how they look. I'm 
matter what class they are. What's a good outfit for a rogue? Obviously that's the class armor. The uh, fancy butler garb is interesting. Kind of like this. So what? Um, let's see. So that's on color eight. It's a bit of a shame to um, have her get that grin and then cover it up. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna go with the horns. in the ears. Yeah, because um, in Final Fantasy XIV she was an Aura. That's going to work. Okay, name input. Valdora Kaisel. And then Portrait. Could stick with that. It kind of kind of fits. Do we got lots of options. Ooh, I like that one. I really like that one. I'm just going to flip through, but I think I'm going to come back to this. Yep, okay, sure. I like that portrait, but it's not what I'm going to go with. We already have that one for Lana, so I'm going to leave it. And then these, I think, are just like generic, looking like the classes. Um, oh, I could have, have you. You're just a silhouette. That's it. Um, and I think the last couple times I, I start, started the game, I think I, would try, I basically was like, I'm going to make it look like this portrait and then use that portrait. Um, I'm not, I think I'm not going to do that this time so much. Um, I'm going to go with something that kind of looks appropriate, but I'm going to be a little less picky, I think. Or a little bit less trying to match what's... Um, there we go. Yes. Yes. So I could also change Virgil's look. I could change his name. If you want to be Virgil and you want me to change his name, let me know. I'll do it. And I think I'm going to call it there for now. Um, it's just This was intended to be kind of an intro episode. Um, kind of let you see what, um, what the game kind of looks like. And to get me started, really. So... Um, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.